the world is just not homogenous. Anthropology is relevant in a bunch of different ways to medicine. I feel like anthropology has given me really great tools. And if you want to treat the medical problem, you also want to understand something about the person. It's been true for a long time that medical school admissions committees have recognized anthropology as a useful training. When the effort to solve a health problem doesn't work, right, when people don't follow the medical regimen of care, when they don't show up for their appointments, when they don't take their medicine, um, the, the question that medicine often asks is, why don't they? Sometimes anthropology can help answer that question. One of the groups I got to know that I spent a lot of time in and I learned a lot from was an association of people living with HIV. I remember this one day people talked about that the treatment made them hungry. That was different. People didn't talk about hunger in the U.S. on antiretrovirals. This one woman I remember really well, she would say, she said, all I eat is ARVs. I get, these free, uh, I get this free medication, but that's all I eat. And I sort of just kind of blew it off at first. I was like, oh, sure, it's a poor area, people are hungry. But then as I was right back to my advisors, you know, in the U.S., they'd be like, hunger with, with AIDS treatment? That's weird. This is where an anthropological, I think, perspective helped me. What they really wanted was material assistance. And it's, it's, it, just, it just felt like this big blind spot. I think now there's much more awareness. Problems of health are also problems of meaning. Paying attention to how people make sense of suffering is a, a big theme in medical anthropology. Giving words to those um, phenomena that we experience and things that we're interested in is, I think, one of the first steps about being able to name something, talk about it, and then maybe change it. I got involved through Out With Heart by taking one of their training sessions where they used this book, Oodles of Doodles, um, to train volunteers who would go in and do art with children in a hospital setting. I really love this one. So Imagination Station, you just received a magic power mind reading. What is your doctor thinking right now? How about your mom and dad? And what are the kids at school thinking? So this is where kids get to actually start to share things that they might be keeping quiet or they might not, they might be afraid to say it because they don't want to start making their parents feel bad or they might have an idea about that the doctor's not telling them something. And when people hear art, they may get intimidated or they may think it always looks like drawing, but the real power of it is to be able to name something that you didn't have words for before. One reason to study anthropology is that it's fascinating, it's eye-opening. What could be more interesting than people? A lot of what anthropology yields is surprising insights, things you never imagined. You ask questions about people and they will surprise you.